Hey guys, it's Miles from Lifestyle and Freedom Forever. What's going on? I hope you're doing really well today. But today I don't want to talk to you about Amazon FBA and I don't want to talk to you about making money online. I want to tell you a story about me. And the reason that I want to do this is because a lot of people have asked me recently, firstly, who are you? Secondly, how did you get here? And thirdly, how can I do the same thing? But I don't think the answer is just as simple as, okay, go out, start an online business and, and change your life, bam. I think there's a lot more to it than that. I just wanna basically open myself up to you, be very honest and show you hopefully that we all go through these journeys. And although a lot of things are different, there are a lot of things that are the same as well. And we all just have to start somewhere and move forwards from there. And none of us are perfect and we don't have to be perfect. So without further ado, I'm just gonna talk about me and I, and I hope you find this interesting or insightful. So I, I grew up in Sydney, in Australia. In my, my first like 10 years of life, I moved to schools and classes quite a lot, so four times. In addition to that, I was a really naturally introverted person. I always have been, and I think I always will be. The combination of those two things formed this essence, this part of me where I was always quite segregated from what felt like the rest of the world. And so from the very early days, I always had this lack of a feeling or lack of a passion and I, and I never really felt a calling to, to do what I was doing. And so I went to university, I studied engineering because I got the marks for it and because, you know, it's a good career and it was either that or something like, uh, you know, trying to be a lawyer or something, so why not? I think this was where the, that struggle started to materialize a little bit more because what happens is like you finish school and then if you go and you follow a pathway that, that thousands and thousands of thousands of people before us have done. And it just feels like everyone else around you suddenly is like getting it and they know where they're going and, and you should too. And so I secretly just had this like thing within me where I had no idea what I was doing. I could never really visualize like what my future would look like. And if you went back and you asked me, I wouldn't be able to tell you, I'd have no idea. And I'd probably try and avoid the question. It's interesting actually, if I were to go back and, and be able to talk to myself back then, I. I don't really know what I'd, what I'd give myself as advice. I think in some way you have to go through this and you just have to have your own journey and your own experience and learn from that. And so I got a job, I started working and let me tell you guys, uh, life was, it wasn't bad. I was earning good money. I got to travel a lot. I had good friends. So it wasn't like everything was terrible. It was just like, I guess I fell into this trap that in today's society is so common and, and afflicts so many of us where we see everyone else around us seeming to know what they're doing. And so we assume that we should know what we're doing. And so we follow that path that someone else has set for us. Always, always having this like inner doubt of like, well, do, do I love what I'm doing? Is this what I wanna be doing for the rest of my life? Can I really see myself doing that? And normally there are answers to those questions, but I think we pretend to ourselves, or at least this is what I did. I pretended to myself. Either I lied to myself about those answers or I denied the existence of those questions. And in hindsight, that was silly, but it, I guess it was something that I had to go through and I had to learn. And so I spent about four years working as an engineer. And during this time, like I said, it was like ups and downs. Um, if I was out traveling or you know having a good time out with friends, I'd feel fine. But it was when I was working and I was working long hours, like 13 hours a day. And then after that, I'd, I'd be really tired and I'd go home to, get, to go to sleep and I wouldn't be able to sleep. There'd just be this feeling just inside, sort of like there, present, weighing me down a little bit. And so I always had that. And honestly, guys, I should say that I never had those aspirations. So when I went into my career job, my like vague idea of what I was gonna do in my long-term plan, it, it's silly, it's really silly but I kind of just wanted to work, earn money, get and like build up a decent resume, you know, and then get to a certain position. And I never knew what that position was or what it would be where I was earning good enough money to basically save enough over like a 10 year time frame or something to one day just be able to be like, hey, up yours. And then to quit and to fuck off and go and travel around the world and do, I don't know what. That was where the whole thing just like fell apart. But that was honestly like what I had in my head and it was silly. Because of this lack of drive and lack of feeling purpose and it led me to be not a particularly great worker. And so that was just like this negative feedback cycle where, because let's face it guys, if you're not very good at something, like it kind of sucks. So I wasn't very good at what I was doing and that made me feel more helpless 
worse, 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 like in this negative cycle. Again, it was ups and downs, but after, after roughly the four year period, so about two years ago, um, there were some other things happening in my life and it just, I kind of hit like a down period, but it hit me quite a little bit worse than, than really what I'd, what I'd had before. So I went camping one weekend and I remember I was sitting there just by a river. I was just watching the water flow by. And suddenly I started to think to myself, like, what am I doing with my life? Is this, is this something that I want to keep doing? Is it going to get better or is it going to stay the same? And if it stays the same, am I okay with that? Can I let that happen? And so I wasn't doing that well then. And when I went home from that camping trip that weekend, and, and started thinking about work again and preparing to go back to work. I actually, I wrote myself a letter. I wanna read it out to you because it was quite powerful for me at the time. So bear with me. The problem, I'm feeling unsatisfied with where I am in life. The future feels directionless. I've been working for four years in an industry I know I don't wanna be in. And that industry is in a downturn. I got into it with the intention of making money and, and savings in a short period of time and then leaving to travel, but this hasn't materialized and my salary has plateaued. The sacrifices that I've made for this are weighing me down, ending relationships, long hours, living away from home, feeling useless at work, and the sense that I could be doing a lot more with myself given this time back. My lifestyle isn't where I want it to be. Outwardly, I don't display many signs of success, my car, my clothes, where I live. Essentially, I don't feel that I have enough to show for what I've been doing and what I've been doing is not fulfilling. I'm unsatisfied with my life and my job. I don't feel valued or needed or that I can truly contribute and be rewarded for that contribution. Travel, traveling is my passion, but I do not want it to be at the expense of success of, in other areas of my life. I don't want travel to relegate me to a life of mediocrity when I'm not traveling. I do want to live overseas before I, and, and before I turn 30. An opportunity for me that I've been thinking about is to have a location independent income and maybe to live in Asia or South America. I dream of being able to provide for mum, dad and my sister and to help them move their lives forward and to be happy. I don't feel that this is achievable on my current trajectory and this hurts me. So what is the solution? I need to leave my current job with a clean break and I need to do it now. I need to earn a lot more money in a short period of time so that I can become financially successful. If I can't develop a plan to do this, to earn this money in a short period of time, then a period of traveling will give me the clean break that I need. However, after this, I must develop a plan to become financially independent and successful. I wanna have $1 million in net worth by the time I'm 30, or to have a location independent income that allows me the freedom to, life, to live the lifestyle that I want to live and to be the person that I want to be. And, and after that, I, I wrote myself a plan and a timeline to achieve what I wanted to get. And guys, <laughs> when I wrote that letter, everything became crystal clear and so, I wrote it and I decided right then and there that I was gonna quit my job. I went in and I handed the resignation letter in. That was two years ago to the day, by the way, um, that I handed that letter in. And so a month later, I was free from my job. I think that day when I handed that letter in was potentially the best day of my life. And I feel like every day since then has been potentially one of the best days of my life. And something just shifted within my mind where suddenly it wasn't about following this pathway that, that, that other people had set for me or that society had set. It was just about being comfortable with not having a pathway and therefore being able to create something for myself, whatever that was. And guys, it wasn't that everything just suddenly became easier. I had to step out into, into uncertainty and the unknown and I had to do that every day. But that was almost why it was s such a good time and why it has been since then was that suddenly it was like on me to set my own future. And that's a challenge that I think once you actually face up to it is a really beautiful challenge you learn and you improve and suddenly that becomes a part of who you are is you are learning and improving and just in, and becoming a better person and, and realizing what your place is in this world. So guys, where am I today? My Amazon business is doing well. So it's crossed into the seven figure mark. I've hired a team 
to, to do most of this work for me. And so the rest of this year, what I'm aiming on doing is creating it into a automated machine that runs without my input. But guys, I wanna backtrack and rewind a little bit and, and just say that this wasn't like my first business. So before Amazon, I actually had, I had three other businesses, so four in total. And I definitely don't wanna give the impression that it's just about like quitting your job and going off and suddenly like life is better. It's about realizing what you wanna do for yourself and then being able to put in the hard work and the effort to get there. That's the key thing. And so every day for a very long time, I was grinding away with basically like no income and I had been doing that previously. So let me, let me go back a bit. My, my first business, I started around the time when I was like discovering a lot of my passions and a lot of the, a lot of the things that I actually really enjoyed to do and, and just loved and felt this like, that, that feeling of purpose and drive and, and being at one uh, with yourself and, and with the world. That's that feeling that you get when you do something that you're passionate about. And so I was really passionate about photography and I, I picked that up about the same time that I discovered how much I love to travel and they went hand in hand really well. But I was a student and I didn't have much money. And so I bought a secondhand camera and I bought it off eBay and, and a lens. And I played with it. I took it to Europe when I went there for the first time by myself, took lots of great photos. But it was a secondhand lens, right? And it was already old. And then I went and I used it and I abused it a little bit too. I wanted to upgrade this when I got back from Europe. So I sold the lens on eBay. And what happened was I actually made like 50 bucks on it. And, and then I used that $50 to put it towards the next lens that I bought. And immediately I was just like, hey, how is this possible? I just like bought something, used it, got value out of it. And then I sold it back again and I made money. So I tried to do that again with the next lens that I bought. So I was just thinking like, hey, I love playing with these lenses and I got to make money doing it. This is awesome. So what if I just start buying some lenses and, and just, you know, for the sake of it and seeing if I can keep doing that. And I quite quickly worked out that actually I could do it. So literally I was buying uh, camera equipment off eBay, playing with it, having a great time and then selling it back on. And each time, almost every time I was, well, I was able to make money. And this ended up kind of like, it wasn't a huge amount of money. I think I made over the course of like two years, just doing this, you know, like, for fun. I think I made about 20 grand and I mean, it helped. I was a student. Maybe the most I made was like $800 on one lens, which is just crazy. But what it did was it taught me a lot of things about a, yeah, how like marketplaces work and arbitrage, basically the fundamentals of how to run a business and how to make money for yourself. And it was really empowering because I could do something that like, I, I loved it. It was great. It was great fun. And I got to make money doing it. I, it was something that I thought about and I could never scale it because I was just, you know, it was like secondhand. There's not much, there was no value in it. I was just arbitraging. But what I tried to do, it, this was my second business then, was I tried to automate that. And so I spent like a few months learning how to code and just like a really simple little application. And I developed that for myself. The idea was to then be able to like find these items. Cause before that I was just like looking on eBay every weekend or whenever to see what was available and just buying what I could. But the idea was like to have something doing that automatically 24 seven for me. And then therefore I could buy a lot more and therefore I could sell a lot more and ideally make more money. It didn't really work out like that. Basically like the market size was too small and it was kind of like too hard to do it automatically. But it was a great learning experience. And I, I won't talk about um, the rest, but basically that was what I did. And it wasn't like bam, bam, successful business. It was a process of years of me essentially committing to spending for the for this app that I developed and the time that I had to spend learning how to code that was like two hours a day that I committed to after a 13 hour work day so it wasn't easy I had to do it because I wanted to do it and I think guys that's the key thing is you have to find something where it doesn't matter if you have to put all these extra hours in with potentially no payoff it's got to be something that you love doing or something that you can really get behind and something that you believe in. And then all you have to do is you need to show up day after day after day. And you need to recognize that it's not about, it's not about like making the money quickly. It's about learning and building up your skill set, your experience, your value as a person. And as you do that, your place in the world becomes cemented. And over time, that will naturally mean that you will get what you want. As long as you know what it is that you want and you're not afraid to put in that effort, you'll get there. Guys, I don't know what else to say. That's my journey from who I was to who I am today. I hope you've seen that if you wanna create like a positive change in your own life, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have it all put together. You don't have to have it all figured out. All you need to do is move forwards every day, not be afraid to put those hours in, always be learning and adding value to yourself as a person and you will cement your place in the world. So that's it for me today. I've talked enough. I would love for you to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. I would really love for you to subscribe if you would like to follow along my journey going forwards. And please leave me a comment. Tell me if there's anything that actually stood out to you, anything that speaks to you or is part of your journey. Wherever it is that you're going, tell me. I want to get in touch and I want to know more about you. So thank you guys. Peace out. Catch you later.